This video is the English version of the original Polish video. So while working on my uh, other video, I decided to make this quick video about this thing that I found. And I'm doing this video also as a request from my uh, friend. So I will show this and uh, we're going to do a small uh, teardown to show you how it works. I won't explain much about it because I don't uh, understand it very much. So here we have a Soviet made battery charger. I have the original box for it and it looks very nice. I really like the design of the artwork on this box. The peaks, some kind of chemical particles that are charged positively and negatively that are inside the battery. So here we have it, it's called Electronica. We can take the cover from here. So basically it's constructed like this. We have this plug that uh, we attach here, so we can uh, plug it into the wall. Here we also have a small LED light. Box states that uh, it runs on 220 volts AC and the power rating is 0 0.6 watts. So we have places for four batteries that are AA size. And to my surprise, the unit features Phillips head screws that are usually not find on Soviet era things. We usually see flat heads. But this won't stop us. We're gonna took it apart and see what powers it. We also gonna place some batteries and see if they really charge. So we can see one capacitor, some resistors, four diodes and bunch of other diodes and a one fuse. There is not a single transistor in this thing, so it's pretty much uh, basic. Let's see what the other side of the PCB holds. We can see two numbers, 12 and 91. I guess this, is, this means that it was made in December of 1991. Now we are gonna to quickly put it back together and see if it works. I will just take some batteries, here they are, and don't worry, they are rechargeable. Also one thing, the case states that before you take off this cover, you need to remove the plug, but of, co of course, if you take this cover, you also remove the plug, so it's pretty much safe. T let's test the charge level of those batteries. This one is totally dead. This one also. There's some life in it, but also it's pretty much dead. And this one is also dead. Let's load it up and check it. There is some resistance when inserting the batteries. I guess it's the typical thing that uh, our batteries new are bigger than the old ones. It's pretty much seen everywhere on the world. has a hefty weight to it. Let's see if it works. I guess the light tells you that it's uh, currently charging. It doesn't light up. Maybe it lights up when uh, they are done charging, but let me check with a multimeter. How are we going to do this? I think I will manage. Of course, there are slots in the cover so my props can fit through them. It touches, uh, let's see if it makes contact. Let's first see how it is connected. It's not connected together, let's see if the other side... No, it's not connected together also. 
but I think it will touch. Uh, we need to be careful because there is the supply voltage of 230 volts AC. Hmm, the extension cord blocks our port, but I think the extension cord is the problem. Let me get uh, other one. I think I might have uh, old extension cord. Let me get it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. We found it. The Polish one will never fail us. This one is an oldie from the 90s made by Yonex. We can see uh, that from the beautiful sign made in Poland and the Polish uh, safety certificate, but uh, my camera won't focus. Finally it focused. This old type uh, is very shallow and also because it doesn't feature a ground plug. I also still need to fix it. Because uh, if you see this, the the insulation got uh, pretty much damaged here. Uh, actually, this one has the plug uh, with a hole, so I can plug it in the normal socket. But I use it with any other devices that uh, have this old type of plug. So I won't need to drill holes like uh, any other persons do or destroy plugs. Let's finally solve the mystery if it actually charged. It works! So I will probably let it charge for a while and I will uh, splice in the results later without any voiceover. I will probably. 